All right, so my order came in from Butler Performance. I've got my uh, plates for the water pump. The water pump with the uh, billet aluminum impeller. Got the timing cover. And I have uh, went ahead and started to shape shape these. Because it wasn't, uh, it was kind of going over the edge a little bit over here. So I kind of trimmed the edge down out of the grinder. Same over there. So now it fits in there nice, right underneath the lip. So the next thing here is to uh, is to get this gap down right there. Right now the gap is 0.242 down to that metal. And I'm going to try to get down to 0 0.10 or somewhere in that area. All right, so I'm just kind of going around with this uh, hammer and tapping it around here and then measuring it. And it's going down slowly. I'm not really doing it too hard, but it was at 240, 0.240. Now it's at uh, 0.218. And I've seen people get it down to 0.1, so we will see. And then I'm also checking that it spins, I'm not hitting the plate. So I'll do a couple more rounds of that. Well, I'm, I guess I would say halfway through trying to get this to bend down. Uh, this plate is uh, stainless steel from Butler Performance and it's very um, rigid strong. And But I'm just taking my time tapping it with the hammer on on the ground on, on cement and just kind of going around. And so I've, it's, it still needs a way to go though. It's still at um, where I'm at here. That's a rough one. It's it's actually a little bit less than that. It's right around two. It's actually a little less than that whenever I clamp it down. Uh, but it's still um, Still got a little ways to go, and it's just this style of uh, an impeller. It's very thin. It's, or it's not very tall, I should say, compared to the to the to the uh, cast or even the stamped. So it doesn't stick out as far, and that's what the plate was uh, kind of beveled out. To do that, so this one I'm having to press it in uh, pretty almost flat. This thing is pretty much flat right now, and it almost has to go in a little bit to press down. So I could, uh, so even without the cover, it's still. So I'm gonna keep doing uh, doing that because it doesn't um, doesn't hit. So I should be able to just take it easy and go go around. A factory water pump. You can see how it sticks out. Let's see if I can get this a better shot. Hold on. Well, even for the factory. Uh, water pump it still would need to be uh, beat down a little bit let's put that plate on there let me get the original one the original plate oh, that was a pretty big gap so that 
definitely did not help on the cooling, so that gap is way too big. This one's still leveled out, so I don't know if that found that interesting. But that guy is so short, and I'm gonna have to keep on working this metal down. almost make it concave so that's what I'll do all right so I'm getting this shaped the way I want it to close that gap and I'm almost there if you notice now this is concave so I had to pretty much take all of the slope up and actually goes down and I've been going around with a hammer on the floor, kind of going around. That works, but what really worked the best was, car was carefully going in there and kind of going down and following it up with this. And I got it moving. So right now, zeroed out. That's not right. Hold on. Let me get this set. I can't do this with one hand. Hold on. Right where I want it. So that is pretty much where I want it. Now I need to do this uh, same test with the gasket on. And uh, kind of smooth it out. And it doesn't it doesn't hit on the bottom since the, the pump's so flat. Almost there. All right, so I put the gasket on there, and my gap is pretty much where I want it. So, it's not hitting. So I'm going to run with that. And those marks were some low spots that I had. I actually had to bend this one out just a little bit because it was too, too close. But that's what I did. I kind of marked where my low spots or added normal spots were so I could work on them or avoid them. Okay.